Okay, here we go again. We got some sunshine today. It's a shocker. Haven't seen sunshine in Idaho in a long time. Uh, people wanted some better pictures of the engine, so here you go. Uh, I hope you can see good. This is uh, the sun is not behind a cloud at this moment, so this is the best I can do. Uh, you can see it fits in there real nice. Pipes going out the back. Corvair Transact, so you can see some of the frame how it's built. Uh, the frame was gotten from a company called Kelmark. A uh, frame, and you can see the fiberglass pan. Frame and fiberglass pan. Uh, it's like fifteen hundred bucks. Big deal. And then uh, everything was bolt-on. It was just, they told you what what uh, engine and transmission will fit to it. And uh, came with everything. All I had to do was bolt it all together. Because I am not a great welder. Uh, I'm a great grinder, not a great welder. So there you go. It even had a spot I put Neil pedals in. I'm going to carpet the rest of it. Get it all buttoned up. Most of the gauges are working now. That's been kind of a tricky thing. Um, you can see more of the frame down here and um, see how the rubber hoses are connected to exhaust pipe which runs the length of the frame which goes back to the engine and uh, that works pretty good let me go back around here before I run out of sunlight and battery and uh, you can see it's nice nice fit nice tight fit um, it does not get warm in, uh, inside the in inside the V-dub I got two fans one in the front and one in the back it, it seems to get the air out I'll just put fins there on the side and that'll really get all the air out and maybe louver this back hood. Um, I hope you can see everything. Any questions, Give me, uh, send me an email. I also have tons of pictures. I can email you pictures. They do better than this darn video thing. Okay, bye.